two different examples so we can get some practice at performing activity-based costing. So our first example will be the Longview Corporation and they're considering the use of activity-based costing. We have the following information provided for the production of two product lines. So we have product A and product B. We have the two activities that these products go through, setup and machine maintenance, and the estimated cost for each activity, and the cost driver for each of those activities. And then we're given direct labor hours, number of setups, and number of machine hours for each product, and the total cost, or the total hours, total, total number of setups, and total number of machine hours. Longview plans to produce 350 units of product A and 225 units of product B. And we need to compute the activity-based costing indirect manufacturing cost per unit of each product. So the first thing we have to do is just as before, we have to go through and we have to calculate a rate, an allocation rate. So that is step one in the process. for each activity. So the first activity is setups. And our estimated cost per setup is $107,000. That's our estimated cost. So you'll recall to calculate an, an allocation rate we take total estimated overhead and divide that by the total estimated allocation base. They tell us that our allocation base for setups is the number of setups. So we need to go find the total number of setups. Here is the number of setups, and the total number of setups is 100. So we're going to divide this 107,000 by 100 setups. That will give us $1,070 per setup. The second activity is machine maintenance. We see that our machine maintenance total estimated cost is $50,000. So we'll put $50,000 and now we divide that by the total estimated allocation base. They tell us that our allocation base is machine hours. So we need to go find our total number of machine hours and we find that to be 5,000 machine hours. So if we do this simple math, we find that maintenance is $10 per machine hour. Notice that no activity in our system here uses direct labor hours as a cost driver. That's very important to note because we're, we don't even really need that information that they give us here. So be very careful when you're looking through this information to only use the information that's needed. So the second step you'll recall in our process, so we've, we've calculated the rate, the second step in the process is to allocate the cost. So in this process we have product A and we have product B. So setups for product A we know our rate is $1,070 per setup. So we need to figure out how many setups product A took. Well, we see right here that product A took 30 setups. So we're going to we're going to multiply 1,070 by 30 setups and that will give us a cost for setups for product A of $32,100. For product B, the rate is still 1,070, but product B had 70 setups. So the total cost of product B is estimated at seventy-four thousand nine hundred.
And the second is maintenance. The rate is $10 per machine hour. Product A took 1,200 machine hours. So the cost allocated to product A for maintenance will be $12,000. For product B, the rate is still $10 per machine hour. Product B is estimated to take 3,800 hours. So the cost allocated to product B will be $38,000. So the total estimated cost of product A will be $44,100. And they tell us in the problem that we plan to produce 350 units of product A. So if we divide the, the $44,100 by 350 units, we get a cost per unit of $126. Product B's total cost is $112,900. And the problem tells us that we're going to produce, or we plan to produce, 225 units of product B. So we're going to divide 112,900 by 225. And that will give us $501.78 per unit. And so that's what we need to do when we're calculating a per unit cost for each product. Now, I'll let you take a shot at a problem and see how you can do. So we'll take monthly corporation. They make two products, C and D. The following data have been summarized. So again, we're given uh, cost data on a per unit basis, and then they're giving us the activities and the allocation rate. So remember, step one is to calculate the allocation rate. Well, they've actually already done step one for us. They've calculated the allocation rate. And then they give us our allocation base units for product C and product D. The company plans to manufacture 225 units of each product. Calculate the product cost per unit for product C and D using activity-based costing. So press pause on your player now and attempt to solve this problem. And then once you have figured it out, uh, play the movie back, the lecture back, and we'll look at it together. Okay, so hopefully you have come up with a solution to the problem. So again, part one, the step one, al uh, calculating an allocation rate, has already been done for us. So we just are going to start with part two, which is allocating the cost. So we'll start with product C. And we see that setups, the allocation rate is $1,000. And it is based on number of setups. And we see that product C took 37 setups. So we will multiply that times 37. And that will give us $37,000 for product C for setups. And then we have machine maintenance. And we see that our allocation rate is $11. And that would likely be per machine hour. And they tell us that product C had 1,350. So 1350 gives us a cost of 14,850 for a total cost estimated cost to product C of $51,850 and we plan to produce 225 units gives us a cost per unit 
for product C of $230.44. We'll do the same thing with product D. So for setups, our rate is still a thousand. Product D will utilize 77 setups. So we'll multiply that times 77. That will give us a cost of $77,000. Maintenance is $11 per machine hour, 3,850 that um, maintenance will use. That will give us a, give us a cost of $42,350. For a total cost, estimated cost to product D of $119,350, again they tell us we plan to produce 225 units of each product, so we'll divide D's estimated total cost by 225 units. That will give us a cost, estimated cost per unit for product D of $530.44. Now, notice this, this problem is asking us to calculate the product cost per unit. This is only the overhead cost per unit or the indirect cost per unit. So they're wanting these, all we've found so far is these two numbers. That's not what they're asking for here. They're asking for the total product cost of each unit, which as we know is materials, labor, and overhead combined. So make sure in all these problems that you're, that you're answering the question that's being asked. So product C, has $900 for materials, $400 for labor, and we just found $230.44 for overhead for a total cost of $1,530.44. For product D, We had 2100 for materials, 200 for labor, and we just found our overhead or our indirect cost to be $530.44 for a total cost to product D of $2830.44. So this would be the answer that the problem is, is looking for, would be the total cost here.